All right, so here's my little uh, sprinkler project. Um, we've got two orbit solenoid valves that require 24 volt positive and 24 uh, to open and 24 volt negative to close. Uh, and it only needs a pulse because it latches. Um, it's the main box. I'll open that up in a second. And it's just a power supply, waterproof power supply, 12 volt thing. And just to kind of show what it does. Uh, so I've got a mister attached up here, and then there's like a soaker hose in the garden over there. So on here, um, turn on the mist. And the same thing works for, uh, so this one's on the mister, this one's on garden, and I just have it uh, defined as such. So, um, turn on the mist, turn off the mist, turn on the garden, turn off the garden, all that sort of thing is all set. Uh, so I'll open this guy up and show what's going on inside to make all this work. Okay, so here's what's going on inside this box. Um, the main brain is this Arduino Yoon, uh, which is uh, a Wi-Fi powered Arduino. Uh, it's got a little Linux computer on it and then also the regular Arduino programming thing. Um, there is a uh, 5 volt power supply which interprets the 12 volts here and sends it out by USB to the Arduino and then also I just kind of cut that off, um, the other half of that off and then just supply the rest of the rails and the spreadboard thing with, uh, with 5 volts. So that powers the rest of it. Um, there is this uh, 24 volt fire, five, well it's a buck boost converter, but it's set to go from five volts to 24 volts, but it's only on some of the time. This is the relay that controls whether or not it's on. These resistors control the amount of current that this draws when it starts up, because otherwise it was drawing too much and killing the Arduino when it turned on, which is no good. Uh, and then there's this relay board. Uh, which takes the 24 volts and sends it to either. Uh, so basically, if one of these relays triggers, um, it goes positive 24 volts, because um, this will turn positive, this stays negative. So it'll be positive 24 volts to the solenoid. Um, and then if the other thing happens, if this triggers, uh, then it goes negative 24 volts to the solenoid. And this is the same thing for channel 2. Um, and then there's some ferristors on there just to uh, take care of any sort of uh, reverse voltage spike thing um, that the solenoid may put back. Uh, so that's that for the hardware side. Not too bad, but it took longer than I thought. Oh yeah, and then just capacitor in here that basically just acts as a bucket. The 24 volt gets dropped into here. Uh, it turns off. Uh, the 24 volt supply turns off and then this bucket gets dumped into there and that stops it from having to run all the time and drawing too much current. Okay, so here's the Arduino code. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, just kind of the basics. But um, what it does is the when you send a, a, a URL to the Arduino Yoon server, um, which is just defined as whatever the name of the Arduino Yoon is, and then just add um, slash Arduino, slash hose one, or hose two, uh, all hoses are garden timer. Um, one and zero are really just uh, on off switches. I have yet to actually encode it as a string. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and so basically those are the commands that the Arduino gets uh, and uses that information to turn on or off the hose. When you set the timer in a specific way, it'll check Yahoo weather to see if there's rain in the forecast for that day. Um, that's what's happening here. And if there is rain in the forecast, then it will skip that watering and then send you an email um, that tells you that the watering was skipped. And then if the scheduled timer completes because there is no rain in the forecast, it'll send you an email that says that the scheduled timer completed. So on my Raspberry Pi, which is a little Linux computer that's running uh, elsewhere in my house, I have this program called Homebridge running. There it is. 
um, which is a works on Node JavaScript, um, and I have a couple of plugins put in, um, most of which are attached to my Sonos, which is how this whole thing started, being wanting to be able to talk to my Sonos speakers. Um, but uh, so then I've got. I basically created scenes for Mist, Garden, Sprinkler Schedule, and Garden for 25 minutes. And what this does is it allows me to use Siri to turn on those things or off those things because they're identified as switches. Um, and when I turn it on, it sends a specific URL to a specific server. When I turn it off, it sends another URL to a specific server. Uh, in this case, it's the code to turn on and off the respective uh, host channels on the little thing that I've built down there. So that's how everything gets tied back together to Siri. Um, and it's useful for other things. I'll try and show uh, that in action in a second. I have to do it on my watch, though. Turn on the mist. And then the opposite, hey Siri, turn off the mist. And that's pretty much how it goes together. All the scheduling is handled through HomeKit uh, because there's various apps to do that. Uh, it's just treated as a scene. Um, and uh, all the timer stuff is handled locally on the Arduino, so in case my Wi-Fi goes out, I don't flood the garden. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the extent of this project.